Now we show the implementation of the sequence to sequence with the tension mechanism. So we just jump to the decoder because all the else is the same as the sequence to sequence model we uh, talked about before. The only difference is we change the decoder here. So let's see, first let's see the implement, uh, the, the layers that we have. That's, these three things are the same. Embedding layers, a multi-layer RNs is actually LSTM here, and output dense layer. The only additional one is the attention cell. We are using MLP attention here, we defined before, and it gives you like a dropout probability and a number of hindrance. So this is the hyperparameter, and we here we just choose at the same as LSTM. Just. And then we have in the state, uh, we talked about last time, we have the input will be the encode output. The encode output contains two things. One is the hidden state for each timestamp. The second one is the, the state of the last timestamp. Contains the hidden state and also the memory cell for LSTM. And all these layers. In the previous one, we only used the second output, like uh, the output shape with output and hidden state. In the last sequence to sequence, we only use the hidden state to initialize the decoder's uh, state, hidden state. But now we, we are using both. So this output will be the memory cell, the memory to the attention layer. And we swap, um, as before it's like sequence length, batch size, and hidden size. We just swap to batch size, sequence length, and hidden size. And also hidden state and the valid length we, we don't use right now, but we want to use it in the future. So then here's, the fold paths, let me probably just uh, remove this line so you can see more clearly. Now we need to do one by one. It's, we, uh, if from scratch, we don't have a single thing to take all of them together because it's like sequential stage. So what are we doing here? First, uh, we have the state into the encode output, the hidden state of the last time of the uh, encoder, the valid length. Then we fit X into the embedding layer to get the output of the embedding. And also we uh, swap the batch size and the time, uh, the sequence length dimension. Then for each time here, we do one by one. We first get a query. We assume the hidden state, uh, the hidden state have two things. Like one is the hidden state and one is the memory cell actually for LSTN. We first use zero only to get a hidden state. The last one, so then the minus one means the last time step. So assume it already contains all the other thing already, contains all this uh, updated ones. So minus one pick up the last time step. Um, then, then we can adding, uh, just adding a size here to get the uh, sequence length equal to one. Then this is a query. The output will be, the encode output will be the, both the key and the values. So here we just, the, the key we give an encode output and the ver value we also give the encode output. So we duplicate the output to be both key and the values. So here, and also we pass the value the length if you, if you have it. Then we get a context, we call it the output of the attention layer to be the context we have. Given the context, we will concat with the x. What is x? x is the embedding output at the current time. So we concat the encode output and the encoder, uh, the embedding output to be x. And finally, we just need to make the uh, swap again to the first and the second dimension to make the sequence length to be the first one and the fit into the RN. And also, given the hidden state, we update the hidden state. So su such that the hidden state we contains the last, like the, uh, the last uh, updated hidden state. Uh, I think I made a mistake there. Here, the minus one is not means the last time step. The hidden state always con oh, only contains the last time step hidden state, but minus one means the, la the last layer, the last the top recurrent layer. So zero means the first one, minus one means the last one. Okay, given output. We just append up the output, and finally we concat all this output and fit into dense layer. We got uh, everything we want.
Okay, so this is the, so this part, like uh, this is the major, before what, what we have before is like we have the embedding input x fit into the RN directly. But now we need to put into the attention layer concatenated with the embedding output and fit to the RN and run step, uh, step by step. Okay, that's the only changes we have. Any questions so far? Okay. So uh, I, I maybe show example here. Um, given the vocabulary size 10, embedding size 8, number of hindrances like uh, 16, number of layers 2, and decoder we have the same uh, like uh, number of hindrances and the number of layers because we still using sequence to sequence model to initialize the decoder state. And initial the state and have the decode output. So decoder we have two things, what output and the state. The outside is still the same thing as uh, what sequence sequence decoder we have. Batch size, uh, first one, um, uh, first one is four. Sorry, where is four? It is from like uh, the second one. Uh, so four is the batch size. X is four. Second one, sequence length, and ten, which is uh, the voc vocabulary size. The state we have three things, like uh, um, uh, all this input. The, input from the encoder and the hidden size and the last hidden size we have, the decoder hidden size we have. So that's uh, the, the state we have more things comparing to a sequence to sequence model. Okay, so then let's train that, just train that. Uh, the train is pretty uh, similar to what we have before. Like we know the data set, we create the encoder, we didn't change the encoder, we still get sequence to sequence encoder. But decoder is different. Encoder, decoder is sequence to sequence attention decoder. So that's the only thing changed. And give the same, uh, given the same encoder decoder to create the model and the train with the same parameters. So what, so here's the thing we have. So let's compare actually what we have sequence to sequence model before. Let's see how, if we make any change. So that is what we have before. Let me just uh, copy it into the sequence to sequence attention. Like, uh, I just maybe copy it here. I can compare the results. Uh, okay, so this is from sequence to sequence before. This is with attention. Nothing has been changed, only adding attention layer. Firstly, you can see that, well, it's much slower, <laughs> which, um, so before it take 10 seconds, now we take 34 seconds. We have two reasons here. Firstly, uh, the attention layer adding a little bit different uh, complexity is here. The second one, because before, we just put the whole X into, the, uh, into a single layer. The layer implemented by C++, it have a C++ for loop to do everything, but now we have a Python for loop and to span everything, concat all the things in Python and make it a bit more like less efficient. But to make it faster, we can improve the for loop to make it faster, that's easy. Uh, we didn't show that here. Secondly, well, uh, in fact, you, you, you will not see any difference too much between adding attention or not. Do you have some guess of the reason? So for example, epo epoch like 200, the loss is here, 0 0.032, and even this one is actually high, uh, have lower loss for the normal sequence to sequence model. Any, any uh, guess? Um, because the input is randomly generated, it's always not in your pay attention, so the real time But input is not randomly generated. It's like, uh, do you rem remember what the input it is? And let me show you the code. So here's our input. So this is a source sequence, and this is a targeted sequence. It's not random. It's like one's English, one's French. Maybe I'm thinking it's because it's very short. Okay. Yes, it's pretty short. <laughs> like it's I I, I mention, we mentioned that it's like only five length. Like an average, each sentence is only five, in, 
including the, uh, the punctuation at the end, it's only five words. So tension here doesn't help too much for short sentences. And because the LSTN is good enough to cap capture all the things. But tension will be very helpful if you have a little bit longer. This is a very simplified data set, but uh, you, don't, you don't need to translate so long sentences. Usually, you do machine translation, you should pay more like longer sentences. Okay, so that's just make, because of the simplified data set, make the thing doesn't change too much.